We're continuing in the eighth pace of Algebra 2, 1128. This lesson's for pages six and seven, completing the square. Now we've done this um, earlier, was it earlier this year? No, we definitely did it, some of it in Algebra 1. And uh, they have only six problems for you to do. There are some examples for you to follow. But um, let's walk through one together so we can just verbalize and talk our way through the steps that are involved. All right, first thing is we wanna get everything on one side, so x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals 0. Then we actually want to take the 6 over to the other side. So we have x squared plus 5x, we leave a gap, and then when we take that over it becomes positive 6, so we're adding 6 to both sides. Now here's the rule for completing the square. <clears throat> we're going to take half of this middle term. So what is half of 5? Half times 5 equals 5 halves, 5 over 2. But the whole point is we're going to square that. So half the middle term squared, and then we add that to both sides. So that gives us 25 fourths. So we're going to add 25 fourths here and add whoops, 25 fourths over there. All right. Now the whole reason that we did this is because we want to end up with a quantity squared. So x plus 5 squared, so half the middle term. If we squared this quantity and did distributive property, okay, the FOIL method, we would get this back again. All right, so we're going the other direction. We're factoring this. Now we need to add these two. Well, we're going to get a common denominator. So the common denominator is going to be 4. So that'll be 24. So that's 49 over 4. So coming back to you, remember doing this? Okay. Then you do the square root of both sides. This just pops out. And then over here, we get plus or minus the square root of 49 is 7. The square root of 4 is 2. Almost done. I'm going to let you finish this one. We did the hard part together, okay? The last step is you bring the 5 halves over. So you have negative 5 halves. And then first you'll add 7 halves. And then you'll do the negative 5 halves and subtract 7 halves. So you're going to get two answers. <clears throat> For that problem. All right, same thing happens on all the other problems on this lesson, and uh, thankfully in the answer key they do have a solution guide, so it shows you all the steps that they followed, and uh, so if you get stuck, maybe by looking at that it'll make sense, and do well on this. Hopefully we'll see you in uh, the next lesson then.